I still remember when he called me. He said that, "Father, Dad, cancer came back. I don't know if the coroner will ordain me." That was a, a month, I believe, before his ordination. But I told him, "No, no, don't be afraid." I actually told him, "If I was the coroner, I would ordain you even more, because we want you to be able to to be a priest, even for one." Day in your life. I think every priest here, and any priest, and every priest that will view this film, will be thinking the way I'm thinking, probably, and that is, of all that one has to do to get to the priesthood, and formation, and sacrifice, as it is for married life as well. Would I do it for a day? If I knew I'd only be a priest for one day, or for one year. Or just for three years, would I do it? And the answer is, of course, I would. Because Father Ryan's story, his very life, exemplifies that yes. That's what he said on the day of his ordination to the diaconate. The yes that he said to God's will on the day of his ordination to the priesthood. The yes that we're all called to have in our lives if we seek to truly follow Jesus. It's what I tell young people, and anyone who will listen, especially as a vocation director here in San Antonio, and that is, find your life's purpose. Let it not be defined by the ways of the world. How much money can you make? What career can I have? How much power? What prestige? Where can I go? But how can I serve Christ? What is my vocation? And if it's to marriage, then sacrifice and be the best husband and the best wife you can be. That's your vocation. That's your calling. And if it's to be a consecrated religious, if it's to be a priest, then don't be afraid, because the world will say, "Why would you answer that call?" But Father Ryan's story reminds us, reminds me in my many years as a priest, of what that yes means, the impact that one person can have if they do it all for the sake of Christ.